When it comes to a student laptop, it is really quite easy to explain. You can get somewhere between this kind of price point, 30, 40, 50K, but if you're just under 25K of a budget and you don't need something that is really quite high end, well, this might be the best sweet spot. For an entry level machine, the Acer Aspire A31432 is one of the laptop that is really great in price, and I could say for its performance, it is not that bad. But here is the reason why this one is the best selling laptop here in the Philippines. Not to exaggerate about that kind of term, but let's proceed to the unboxing. For the price on this one, it can cost you at around $24.99, and that depends on some freebies on some other retail stores. So inside, you have the unit itself, documentations that is really quite important, and of course your charger. So don't lose your receipt if you're going to aim for the warranty. So next stop is the designable quality. The design of it has a brushed metal look to this kind of laptop that really adds that two-tone flash to it. But the build quality is really above average to what you can expect for its price point and it weighs at around 1.8 kilograms that makes it really lightweight. You can easily carry this one around because of its slim profile. But that is what to be expected though the only downside to this kind of design is that it attracts fingerprints that you really need to have some cleaning cloth to remove some of your fingerprint stains. So moving on to the bottom of the laptop, and you can see that this one has two maintenance hatch that you can easily upgrade some of the components like the memory, the hard drive, and the M.2 SSD. Now let's check on the right side. You have two sets of USB ports, combo audio jack, DC power in and two status LEDs. On the back, we have the ventilation for the exhaust and intake. And last but not least, we have USB 3.0, SD card reader, HDMI, full size Ethernet port, and of course, the security lock slot. Even though for a sleek looking laptop, but first things first, the display. Yes, I could actually imagine that the display is really quite okay for its standard. TN panel screen. You can actually tell that this one washes out all the colors if you're going to tilt on certain angles from its brightness, color contrast with the anti-glare coating, making this laptop really great when it comes to its viewing pleasure, especially outdoors. The only thing that really lacks upon this kind of laptop is the fact that the bezel is not really quite modern as it seems. Where the narrow edge is really quite the most norm in terms of laptops today under the price budget point. Meanwhile, on the 0.3 megapixel webcam, it is really quite okay when it comes to its quality of taking pictures and Skype calls as what you can see on the Aspire trade that really shares the same similarity on the webcam department. Meanwhile, on the keyboard though, it is really well spaced and its layout is really quite simplistic as what you can imagine. It's comfortable for an average typist even with a short amount of travel. However, the keys themselves on the arrow side is cramped on the up and down keys. Which I do say that this one is not really that mushy, it's not really that noisy. But all in which for a price like this, you don't actually have a lot of issues whatsoever on the keyboard side. Meanwhile, the precision touchpad is really quite amazing for its tracking speed. But if you're not really into that kind of tracking speed, even with the gesture controls, you can use a mouse for your secondary option. And speaking of mouse, let's talk about the specs. So here's the reason why this laptop really sells so well in this kind of category. The Intel Pentium N5030 processor is a 4 core and 4 threads that has thorough boost capability that's really quite okay, comparable to a Core i5 3rd generation ULB processor. But you can tell that this one also has 4 gigs of RAM that you can maximize to 8 gigabytes of memory that is LPDDR4 with only one slot. A 1 terabyte hard drive paired with a 128 gigabyte M.2 SSD, it is really quite okay for its absolute potential in the specs itself. And with the 37 watt hour battery, Acer claims that it runs at 6.50 hours, which we go on to the benchmark. 
You can see from the Cinebench Core compared to other laptops we have reviewed, it is really clear night and day that this one is almost comparable to what you can expect on a Core i5 third generation CPU. The 3317U processor, it really gives a better approach on this kind of CPU's performance even though it is a low power efficient chip. Yes, you can do some video playback at 720p to 4K. Thanks to the Intel UHD 605, it really gives you the best immersion when it comes to playing 4K videos thanks to the UHD implementation on the 605. Gaming performance can be a little bit better when it comes to it but don't expect too much if you are going to use this laptop for heavy gaming. And of course, the 4 gigs of RAM is really manageable as what you can expect for its performance even for using this as a basic productivity like Word documents and all the other necessary things that you always do as a student. Plus, the 120GB SSD really brings the best potential in terms of its performance to make the laptop perform well. Thermals though is really good news also in this kind of laptop, where this one really goes at the best possible sweet spot which I don't require to use this laptop on your lap. But for the thermals though from idle to full load, it is really reasonable for this kind of thermals to have its efficient CPU, really good GPU if you are going to aim something that is really quite okay for your needs. Meanwhile, the fan noise is really quite audible for some people but this thing is not actually quite audible as what you can expect on a gaming laptop with an airplane noise. However, this one stays cool and quiet without any kind of hesitations. And speaking of which, Moving on to the speakers, it really performs very okay. It's not really the most perfect speaker audio quality as what it seems, but at least this one can be good for your casual movie experience and listening to some musics. Now it's time for the battery and I already mentioned before that the battery capacity on this thing is 2 cell 37 watt hour that Acer claims to have like 6.50 hours in terms of its maximum battery runtime. This one also has a 45 watt AC adapter that charges from 0 to 100 at almost 1.52 hours where this thing is really quite okay but when it comes to 100 to 0 though things are really more pleasing. If you're going to use this one on idle, you can see that this one can go to 7.10 hours. This is what you can get for its battery runtime. For normal load, it is really good when it comes to its battery runtime despite the efficient processor if you're not going to utilize it at 100%. So let's get back to the question. Why is this one the best laptop in the Philippines? And here's the reason because a lot of us are more into the essential laptop needs. You don't have any kind of needs if you have already some high-end computers or even some with dedicated graphics card. Other people try to opt to have something on a budget because they are really quite budget constrained to buy something that is really quite expensive. That is what we need to understand. Of course, it's not really the most perfect laptop that will be beneficial to a lot of people for $24.99 there are loads of options but if you are really aiming for something that is really quite convenient lightweight great battery life and of course with an ssd i could say for this kind of laptop the acer spire 3 has a lot to give but there are some things that that needs to give up for yes you're lacking backlit keyboard you're still stuck with an HD resolution which is still the norm for that kind of price point but the narrow bezel for this kind of laptop is a miss. The 720p webcam should be implemented in this thing to add more quality to it which is more convenient. The lack of USB Type-C and all the other things that this laptop cannot do. At least 8GB of RAM might be enough. But here is my own conclusion. For $24.99 you're getting something that is really quite affordable. Even though you wanted to sacrifice some of the benefits of having a laptop like a dedicated graphics card or other features that is quite or quite not necessary, you have yourself an essential laptop and that is what this laptop aims for. Simplicity, 
that is budget friendly that makes it really convenient especially for essential users to do something that is more essential especially for students with that said thank you so much for watching leave a like share to your friends sub and tap on the notification bell and this is norms and i'll catch you guys in the next video